How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be bringing you guys with a ranking Premier League stadiums video. Seeing as I've been to 18 out of 20 Premier League stadiums in the Premier League, I thought I'd rank them in a video today. So if you enjoyed the video, then make sure to drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to Offsiders. Link will be in the description. Honestly, you... you it, I, I'm speechless. Big things coming on our channel. I kid you not. It's going to be absolutely amazing. You will not be disappointed with the content on the channel. It's going to be amazing. So make sure you don't miss out. Link in the description to, to go subscribe to our channel. 150 likes, 200 likes would be absolutely brilliant on this video too. I'm trying to keep the consistency up. So that's what we're going to be doing. It's now or never. That's the translation of this jumper from Primark. Don't knock it until you try it. If you want more of these videos, then make sure you drop a like on this video. Comment right now. Just comment... Fusion. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, there's more people unsubscribe than subscribe to my channel, and that's a pure fact. So if you can hit that subscribe button just below this video and drop a like rating on this video, that would be absolutely brilliant, and football will be back very soon if you do so. Let's hope. Now the time has come, and it's time to rank these Premier League stadiums. We've got five categories. We've got 20 teams. There's 20 stadiums. Let's get ranking. The categories are as follows. We've got right at the top, we've got proper naughty. Now what I mean by proper naughty is... Absolutely everything has got to be spot on about the stadium in my view. The second best is double decent. I mean decent, and then it's double decent, so it's got to be second best. Third one, the middle one, the bang average one is just... Okay. The second to last one, the fourth one on this list, is not that decent. We're going from like the decent, the double decent, to the... The not, not so decent. And last, but certainly least, we've got the category called Palace. Get that one out of the way, and put this scummers in the bottom. One down, 19 to go. Enjoy the video. Come on, the boys. Now, now this is really last minute thinking, but considering we got Arsenal to rank first, why don't we just call Babs? Oh, we'll, we'll call him. I've got a question. Where would you rank Arsenal as a Premier League stadium? I think it's a good stadium. Obviously, like, in terms of the facilities there. But at the same time, the atmosphere is abysmal. So I'm going to have to put it in the second bottom one. Second bottom one? Yeah. I, I honestly think that... I like stadiums with atmosphere more than actual things there to do, like, you know. Not expecting that one bit. I love my stadium, but I just think, if I'm being honest, the atmosphere is abysmal, so you got to be real with it sometimes, right? I love the honesty. For being honest, I did not expect him to call, and I did not expect him to put in not that decent. That's coming from an Arsenal fan, not me. And if it was me, I would have said double decent. Aston Villa. Oh, oh, should, should I call Max now? Should I just call Max? Never mind. It says it's unavailable. Now, oh, great. So you have to leave it to me. Fans in general, like in the championship and just anywhere they go, they make noise, they bring numbers. Absolutely everything about Aston Villa, I do, I do rate to be honest. And for me, Aston Villa is nothing but a proper naughty stadium, and they, they bring the noise at home. Inside knowledge of being a Villa on tour viewer is um the fact that Aston Villa's home atmosphere this this year in the Premier League hasn't really been the best as it, as it probably can be in a Championship where they were winning games, and when they don't really win games, that's where it gets a bit like 50-50 of what, whether they make noise or not. Proper club, proper fans, proper stadium, absolutely everything about it. The character of the stadium is a proper naughty listing on this video. Bournemouth, not that decent. The fans are awful. The stadium's awful. It's tiny. It's got 12k. It's a League One stadium. Moving on. I really did just disrespect that club so much. Oh, God. We've got Brighton next. Oh, here we go. Here comes the biased uh, point of view. Right, let's be honest. Brighton fans, let's be honest for a minute. Atmosphere-wise, we're shocking. We're, it's not that good. Let's put it that way. The North Stand is the only closest thing you'll get to atmosphere. And on our day, we can be absolutely amazing. But... Consistently, it's it's just a bit awful, if you're being honest. Stadium-wise, it's absolutely fantastic. But inside the stadium where the fans bring in the atmosphere, it's about a 3 out of 10 at the best. Uh, it's, it's not that good. So I am putting Brighton in okay. Bang average. I, I probably am being a bit... I'm not being biased because I think okay. You know, it could be... I could have put it in proper naughty, but I haven't. Burnley. Oh, I'm, being, I'm being honest. It's not that decent. It's, it's what I, I would like to call a shithole. Chelsea. I think that's a double decent stadium. It's, it, it just is. It is a double decent stadium. The, the, the fans can be improved, but the stadium-wise, it just, it's just, it is very good. It's a stadium I'd love to go again, to be honest, because I, I do think it's that much of a good stadium. West London, great location. Fans-wise, it can be better, but I swear on their day, other than playing Brighton, I bet they're very, very good. But I don't know that myself. Some say I've got an agenda against Everton, but I'm being honest. When we, when Brighton play Everton at, at Goodison Park, I've been twice, and both times I have not heard Everton sing one chant. Other than, okay, Everton, 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 
Everton. That's it. So for me, not that decent. The away end is absolutely awful. So, so that for a start, that doesn't help for my my viewing point for a bit to begin with. Outside, outside wise, it's not that bad. But the inside of things, actually watching the game, it's just a bit awful. You got restricted views left, right, and centre, and for that, I mean like. For an away fan, it's just a bit, it's not that good. Leicester City, I actually do like this, but I'm going to put it in okay, because the fans aren't the best. Stadium-wise, it is like, you know, your bog standard Stoke City as well. Like, they've got the same designers for the stadium. It's, and Southampton, I believe it is. Um, it, it's just a bang average stadium, like, you know, them other two clubs. It's not It's not unique, it's not really original, because, you know, it's a copy of the other two, just a different difference of colour. Liverpool, oh, I am going to put it proper naughty. I just, I am. Now, if I'm being honest, I do like Liverpool Stadium. I've been there twice, and um, both times, I've just, I just love the outside of it. The inside of it is absolutely phenomenal. It's a stadium I'd, I'd actually like go every single week as a, as a neutral point of view. It's fantastic. I do, I do love it. It's got that, you know, good feel to it. And, um, you know, fair play, Liverpool. I do like the stadium proper naughty however if you're comparing fans with Aston Villa Liverpool it's uncomparable because Aston Villa is so much better than Liverpool but fans wise in the Champions League I know it's a Premier League title video but we're going with Liverpool and proper naughty because it's my rules Man City some people like the stadium some people don't but I'm just going to put it in, in okay because atmosphere wise you know there's none there's no atmosphere stadium wise you know it's, it's brought me memories you know I went there for the FBAs what a night that was it was a great night and honestly it's one of the best nights of my life if I'm being honest with you it's very sky blue i'll give it to him it's very blue but um other than that i've just got to say it's a bang average stadium um with the with the fans bringing the level down for being honest as it looks wise moving on to manchester united and, and for me i like going to man united because it's such a big ground is that you know it's, it's one of them grounds you say old trafford you know it's a big one in the name i've got to put it in double decent like just look at it fan wise though it does bring itself down if you're saying by absolute looks man manchester united will absolutely be bang on the top as well as all the top six clubs but we're, we're talking about the fans too in in a sense newcastle united now, if you're thinking of an away fan, you think about the steps and you think about your heart rate. Now, now for me, now if you have a few points in the concourse before you go out and actually look over the over the stand onto the pitch in Newcastle away, you won't see a thing. Newcastle, though, I'm going to put it in double decent. As an away fan, it's not the best, but I, obviously you can tell from the home fans' point of view. Anywhere you sit, it's going to be a great view. The fans are going to be absolutely top-notch too, so, you know, double decent for Newcastle is justified in my opinion. Norwich City, I just don't. I don't know what it is. I, I, I think it's the case of me literally seeing it every time I go to Norwich train station and I, I've probably witnessed the, the Norwich stadium at, at least 500 times like, at least, like honestly like, it's so many I've been in there so many times I've been outside of it so many times um, I've recorded a prank video outside of there, you know, a few times. I, I've just done a lot with it. Fans can be underrated at Norwich, but the older generation kind of like bring the rating down in terms of atmosphere-wise for Norwich. It's not the worst stadium in the world, I'll give it to them, but I'm just a bit bored of it as a personal point of view, as I said at the start of the video. Sheffield United, it's a proper naughty stadium. I have not been there as well as Aston Villa, but I've seen videos of the atmosphere, I've seen videos of the stadium, and it's got the character you, know, you just want as a football game. It's got a lot of character, it's really old, and it's a stadium I really, really want to go to very, very soon when the football's back on. Southampton, it's just another Leicester City, so I'm just going to put it in okay. Like, it's the same design, it's the same, it's, you know, the same build, other than the colour of the red and the blue. It's um, a difference of primary colours and secondary, secondary colours, I think. Tottenham Hotspur, I'm uh, just, just, just take a minute to look at this stadium. Now, I don't know if I'll make it, but the FBAs will be at Tottenham Hotspur next, and if I make it, then, um, Ooh, it's going to be one hell of a night, you know, in that stadium. It's, like, fantastic. The outside of it, aesthetically, is absolutely beautiful. Inside of it, too, it's beautiful. Anywhere you sit at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium inside, it's got a great view. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one of the best stadiums in the world, let alone the league. Tottenham Stadium deserves another, like, column for, you know, that good of a look of an aesthetically nice stadium. Now, Watford, it's different. Let's put it that way. I'm going to say okay for Watford. I don't think it's the best, but I don't think it's the worst either. It's a bang average stadium and it's not really got that you know hostile feel to it it's not got that you know atmosphere feel to it it's just another one of them away days west ham united oh god not that decent it deserves it does it deserves to be in uh, absolutely diabolical if there's a column of that like the away fans you can't see a thing on the pitch so you've got a delay in your reactions like once the players you know run to the corner and actually start celebrating for the goal that's when you know brighton has scored you don't actually see the ball hit the back of the net and last but not least we got wolves and this is a stadium i do rate highly outside the stadium it looks beautiful inside the stadium it looks beautiful and the fans in the north bank i believe it is are absolutely exceptional too so hats off to wolves i'm putting them in double decent i would put them in proper naughty but i mean 
I just don't think the stadium wise it compares to Sheffield United, Aston Villa, Liverpool and Tottenham. However, that is me done with my ranking. I hope you enjoyed it. I think the best one at the pile is putting Palace in Palace because they're that irrelevant and that stupid of an absolute shithole of a stadium in Croydon. Now, I don't know if that made sense, but in my brain, it really, really did. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like on this video. If you want more videos, then um, comment down in the comment section down below if you enjoy these two. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're already, and make sure you subscribe to Offsiders. Link in the description to subscribe. First link, go hit it. I'll see you guys in another video. Stay safe, stay at home, and um, yeah, more uploads coming your way. Goodbye, guys.